Hello everyone, my name is Anna Ayub and today I will be presenting on my research confirming the elements and items for a learning design strategy framework for content transformation of learning at scale through a virtual classroom aligned with the university's new curriculum framework using fuzzy Delphi analysis. My co-authors are my research supervisors. They are Associate Professor Dr. Samsul No Azlan Muhammad, Dr. Go Wei Wei, and Associate Professor Dr. Johan Eddy Luaran. So this study engages experts in confirming the elements and items of a learning design strategy framework for content transformation of learning at scale to a virtual classroom aligned with the new curriculum framework. So having this framework will ensure that the practitioners can work collaboratively for rapid content transformation. The findings of this study assisted to finalize the elements and items and the sequence of the framework to ensure alignment with the TCF. This is to cope with the new destructive education. So the, the study will be useful to guide uh, educators in the efforts of transforming their content when change management must happen rapidly to cope with the disruptive education. To remain competitive as a private higher education institution, Thales University strike a bold move to ensure the education it is offering to its students is synchronous to the change that is happening globally due to the disruptive education brought forth by the Industrial Revolution 4.0. In March of 2018, Thales University launched its new curriculum framework that allows its learners to be empowered to design their own education path based on their chosen specialization and combined with various interests in other fields. So this transformative pedagogy under the TCF further ensures personalized and self-directed learning. Further, with the capability of disruptive technology, learning can now be delivered at scale in the online learning environment. And while learning is no longer, where online learning is no longer a new field in education, the delivery of learning at scale is still a new body of knowledge in the Malaysia higher education landscape. Before I go on further in my presentation, I will first define learning at scale. So learning at scale is new approach for students to learn and for teachers to teach when engaging large number of students, either in a face-to-face -face setting or remotely, whether synchronous or asynchronous, with the requirement that the technique involve large number of students. Where well, large is preferably thousands of students, but can also apply to hundreds in-person centic. So for the context of this private university in Malaysia, the number of students is counted as at least 100 students per cohort. And the stakeholders have reported that the number can be up to 3,000 students per cohort for some of the courses. So now I will uh, explain some of the background of the study. So education 4.0 learning environment is definitely one of the factors that um, caused the development of this framework and also the change of the mode of teaching. So more importantly, having a ped pedagogical strategy will ensure the tools applied strategically to ensure learning is effective can happen for learning at scale. Previous research uh, on learning at scale discussed mainly on MOOC and of its bad design. And further research conducted by myself and my team of researchers also noted that um, teachers' presence is very important, even for MOOC and especially in Taylor's University. They prefer their course instructors to be highly engaging with them in the online environment rather than just having to go through the content on their own. So for this purpose, uh, instead of um, offering this course as a MOOC, the course is uh, offered to Taylor's University students first so that we are able to understand our own student and their preference um, in uh, learning with the context of learning at scale. So um, 
And also the need for a learning design strategy framework is important. Uh, not just because of the launch of the new TCF, which was the main reason, uh, but also the process of uh, constructive alignment with the TCF um, and also the process of content transformation itself is challenging for the educators. And also upon investigation, um, the course instructors are also not ready to develop the module site on their own and they need guidance from the e-content development specialist. Whereas in the, um, the designers themselves, they do not have a one framework that is being used for development. So a framework is necessary so that it be, can be used as a collaborative tool uh, between the practitioners among the educators and the designers so that they can work together uh, to refine the, de the design proof uh, of the module site before development can start in, in the learning platform. So a clearly defined framework ensures that the pedagogic ideas can be shared, discussed upon and refined when a module site in development before the actual development of the module site can happen. So before the process of the fuzzy Delphi analysis, a systematic literature review was first conducted. So the reason the systematic literature review was conducted is to identify the pedagogical strategies in designing for learning at scale. So during the investigation, the PRISMA method was used um, by performing keyword search applied in electronic database thesis, journal, conference proceeding, and a scan through was made for relevant articles in the author's reference list. So the following keywords was used, which is learning design approach, pedagogy models for e-learning, pedagogy approach, education 4.0, pedagogy modes, learning design strategy framework, learning design mode, learning massive online course, learning design MOOC, learning design VLE. Now, due to the limited number of research on learning design for learning at scale, a more general term such as learning design or when for mentioning learning at scale, the term MOOC was used as a keyword for the search. Um, and also due to the lack of the recent literary works on the item search, the year of the search was extended from 2010 to 2018. Now, in addition, since the research is focused on learning design strategy framework, the following keywords was excluded, such as instructional design approach, instructional design strategies, models or framework. This is due to the scholarly argument that a distinction must be made between learning design and instructional design. So the methods for the Fuzzy Delphi study is first, the systematic literature review on the issues, right? This is um, considered as the phase one, which is the issues, protocol, and distribution. So from there, survey protocol was um, created where establishing contextual relationship for screening criteria was made. And then uh, the design, so a pilot process was added in in phase one to align with the TCF. Hence, the in-house expert's opinion was sought. Now, considering the urgency to develop a framework applicable to the TCF, and also since the framework needs to be aligned with the TCF, a pilot study was deemed necessary. So for the pilot, the in-house expert um, identified as expert one, two, and three, their insight gave more weight to all other experts due to the context of the study. And expert number one, especially, is the policy delegate of the TCF, and he would able to verify uh, that the items uh, and the elements from the systematic literature review is aligned with the TCF, whereas expert two and expert, expert two, um, she's from the um, training and development and also involved uh, in the, uh, the TCF process. So 
and expert three is also a pedagogy expert. So they will be able to verify whether the items and element from the systematic systematic literature review is aligned with the TCF. So in phase two, um, the questionnaires is further refined uh, and then it was verified with a group of experts from outside of Thales University. So the survey was sent to seven experts uh, for the round two fuzzy Delphi methods and they further uh, verify the themes and elements presented in the questionnaire. And for the phase three of the uh, fuzzy Delphi study. Okay, so all the elements will later go, will go to the fuzzification and defuzzification process and the items will be ranked uh, according to its importance. So uh, the methodology, again, uh, the first round is the development of the survey protocol where we have the three experts to verify the structure of the framework and also a refinement of the interview questions. And then in round two is the second steps where the establishment of the survey instrument. Okay, so for this we had seven experts and the survey is being answered and a further refinement of the elements of the framework. In round two is obtain consensus of the expert. So for round two, uh, 16 expert opinion were sought and the survey instrument used was a five point Likert scale questionnaire. I will then explain the steps taken for the fuzzy Delphi. So for the first step, after receiving the invitation to enter the survey, the expert under this answer the survey containing the five point Likert scale questionnaire. So in phase three, the expert will decide on the importance of the criteria to be included as the elements and item of the framework using the formula which is being shown on screen. Okay, so K is the number of experts and then there's a formula that needs to be applied and this formula has been plugged into an Excel sheet. So from the Excel sheet, the formula is already embedded. So it makes the calculation of the fuzzy Delphi scale easier. So all these um, scales and methods, I al I'm also sharing in a website and later I will show that to you. So you'll be able to download from there if you need to use, okay? Right, so from the findings of the fuzzy Delphi study, so for construct A, C, D and E, the value indicated more than 75% consensus was achieved and further the threshold did not exceed 0 0.2 of the agreement among experts. Therefore the construct A, C and E are accepted as the element of the framework by the expert consensus. All exceeded thus not accepted items according to the fuzzy Delphi method technique were reviewed then individually by the researcher and upon reflection of its necessities to be inclusive in the framework to align with the TCF. Uh, the item number A6 was uh, B1, G2 and G5 were rejected due to its low score in the respective construct and the element sequence. And for the elements that did not receive consensus is on digital batch as an item to be included in the framework. So after the discussion with the um, in-house expert, the, they come to a consensus that digital batch is important to be included in the final framework. So if you like to know more about the research and if you like to uh, download the instrument used for the fuzzy Delphi using the Excel uh, spreadsheet, you can go to the website ddresearch.org 
and go to the download um, tab and you'll be able to find the information there. Okay, so any questions regarding the research, you may be in contact with me and I'll be happy to answer your question. Thank you.